Hearing aids are helpful in one-on-one -on -one situations, but may not always be sufficient to enable effective verbal communication. An assistive listening device can help you function better in your day-to-day -day interpersonal communication situations, having conversations. Assistive listening devices, ALDs, can be used with or without hearing aids. These devices provide extra help in specific listening situations, such as when you're on the telephone, when there are noisy backgrounds, when you're in a small or large group setting, such as a restaurant, concert hall or movie theatre, and when you're at some distance from the source of the sound you're keen to hear. Assistive listening devices can enhance your communication experience even if you already have a hearing aid or implant. There are many situations which are difficult for all listeners, but they are especially challenging for those with hearing loss. There are essentially six key benefits an assistive listening device offers. First, they can be personalised to match your specific needs and lifestyle. Second, multiple people can benefit simultaneously, at a meeting or church group for example. Third, they have larger batteries which last longer than hearing aid batteries do and they tend to have larger controls which are easier to use. They also have larger microphones so sounds can be picked up from further away. And the final advantage they offer is that they can be placed physically closer to the desired sounds you're trying to listen to. Now let's have a quick look at some important general rules you may find helpful. The further away you are from a speaker or any sound source, the harder it is to hear them. The intensity or loudness of a sound fades rapidly as it travels over distance. You may have no difficulty hearing with someone in close range, but you may have considerable difficulty hearing the same person across a large room. Most rooms and settings have background noise which competes with the spoken message or sound we want to hear. Examples of background noise include ventilation and air conditioning systems, other people talking, computer activity, the radio, television, outside traffic, outside construction, and activity in adjacent rooms. In short, background noise can make hearing very challenging. For optimum hearing, speech should be at least 20 to 25 decibels louder than any competing noise. This is called the signal to noise ratio, or SN ratio. A room's acoustics represent the quality of sound maintained in the room, and they can affect your ability to hear effectively. Sound waves bounce off hard surfaces like windows, walls, and hard floors. This creates sound reflections and echoes called reverberation. You'll be well aware of extreme reverberating sound from having been in cavernous churches, large gyms, big community halls and some classrooms. The result of excessive reverberation in conversation is distorted speech. Any one of the three conditions I've described, large distance from the source, excessive noise and reverberation can create listening problems, often serious. Frequently these conditions occur together and have a debilitating effect on the listener's ability to hear and process speech. The appropriate assistive listening device can help overcome these difficulties. The devices include FM systems, induction loop systems and one-to-one -one communicators. There are also adapted household devices which include telephone amplifiers and loud doorbells. Let's take a closer look at these. It is often difficult to hear what is said on a telephone because there are no visual cues which accompany the speaker's words. Good voice quality and clear speech on the phone are also vital for improved comprehension, as is good quality phone signal. A telecoil is a tiny coil of wire which is fitted into hearing aids. It enables the wearer to access an audio induction loop. In simple terms, it carries amplified sound such as speech and transmits it in the form of an electromagnetic field to the telecoil in your hearing aid. 
Telecores are particularly useful when using most corded landline telephones and some of the special new hearing aid compatible cordless and mobile phones. You'll need to carefully check your phone specifications to determine whether or not yours is hearing aid compatible. To use the telecoil when on the telephone, you need to set your hearing aid to the telecoil or T program. Hold the handset close to the hearing aid, as shown here. And remember to switch the program back to your usual program when you have finished your phone conversation. If your hearing aid does not have a telecoil or is not compatible with the T program, it may be possible to have it set up with an acoustic phone program. If you have an acoustic phone program, you will have to experiment with handset placement to see if you can hear the phone more clearly with a speaker over the hearing aid microphone or over your ear as normal. Many new hearing aids are Bluetooth enabled. Bluetooth technology is a form of wireless data transmission. Most Bluetooth enabled hearing aids come with a controller which transmits and receives wireless signals sent from or to other Bluetooth enabled devices, just as computers can connect to the internet wirelessly via a Bluetooth facility. Because Bluetooth is wireless, the microphone of the hearing aid can be turned down or turned off. As a result, Bluetooth allows you to obtain better sound quality because the sound is going directly into your hearing aid. Understanding the words people say on television is quite difficult and there are many simple ways to increase your television enjoyment. The solutions include infrared or wireless headphones or what are known as Bluetooth streamers which enable listening anywhere in the television room. The headphones are directly connectable to your TV and can also be used for improved hearing of your hi-fi system and radio. Headphones can be customised to meet your specific hearing needs. Your television also has the capacity to display subtitles, like this one, so you can read what is being said by the people on the screen. And if the subtitles are too small for you to read, larger screen televisions are available. In summary, there are several ways to improve your hearing ability and listening pleasure. First, there are the Bluetooth devices which provide wireless connection of your hearing aid to televisions, MP3 players, computer tablets such as iPads, mobile phones and computers. As we've shown you, induction loops are used with telecoils or the T-switch on hearing aids. Many conference centres, trains, libraries and churches have an inbuilt induction loop which will enhance the performance of your hearing aid. Third. There is a sound field system, a combined speaker microphone system which can be utilised in lectures, meetings and community events. It enables people to hear more clearly wherever they are sitting in the room. It does this by evenly distributing sound around a room and making the speaker's voice equally loud in all parts of that room. It also makes it far easier to understand what is being said, even when the speaker isn't directly facing the audience. The fourth technological aid is the FM system. In this, a combined microphone transmitter is worn by the person speaking and the sound is delivered directly to the hearing aid wearer through a special receiver which also reduces the background noise and delivers a constant volume level. FM systems can work with your hearing aid, but there are also systems which use headphones and are available for those with otherwise normal peripheral hearing. As you can see, there are lots of exciting solutions. If you'd like more details on any of the technologies described, please feel free to contact us. Here on the screen are all the details.